Next is the skill set for how to build a simulation of uh, muscle and bone uh, and skin. And I'm using the sponge here. What I'm going to do is I can place this over and you can get a scoring of where this goes here and here. What you can do then is you can cut into it, removing the area where the bone is. And I'm going to cut here. You can use your fingers to rip this area off. You can cut it off, you can bite it off. And I think this can fit here. The pieces you've taken off now, you can apply here to simulate some kind of muscle here. Next, we're gonna use this adhesive spray you can use any kind of glue to basically spray the back of our bone and attach it here i'm going to put this as weight under it just to hold it then on the surface we're also going to spray it here and here to attach the sponges so i'm going to put this guy here I'm going to hold it then I'm going to hold this guy here. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to attach sponges to the tail end of our simulator here. Okay. And what we're going to do is the same thing. And it doesn't really matter too much uh, initially how you're attaching these. You want to approximate the anatomy of a human. And this area tends to be more subperiosteal, meaning there's not a lot of muscle but you want to kind of give yourself a little more difficulty by attaching these layers. Next, we're going to attach skin. Here we are using the uh, latex that we spread over a cookie sheet and then peeled off, and you end up with a layer like this. What you want to do is you want to measure it so you're starting at the edge of the bone here. So I'm going to move this a little more this way. This is good. So you want to start this the edge at the edge of this bone here. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my spray and spray heavily on this area so it sticks nicely. And this is where the skin almost attaches on the bone directly. So we want to simulate that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this here really tightly for a few minutes. So it's been about five minutes since we have attached our adhesive and you can see it'll give way, but it's stuck enough that what we're gonna do next is gonna unroll this, we're gonna tuck this skin, and we're gonna try to sandwich it again here. We wanna kind of pull this tight so it attaches to everything. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna take the spray and spray it all over this area with a heavy nice coat here. And then we're gonna take this and wrap it all the way down to here. And then the next step, which is really important, is to take any kind of tie, and I'm kind of using a preformed tie here to hold things together, because it'll make my life a little easier, but as you can see, this will hold nicely. And you need to keep this for about 24 hours for it to cure completely. And we're gonna add some weight on it in the form of this clay to keep it bonded down and then you wait 24 hours.